Item number SCP-1128, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures Written descriptions or imagery of SCP-1128's appearance or videos of the entity breaching see Addendum 1128-3 found outside of the Foundation are to be destroyed and Class C amnesiacs are to be administered to anyone exposed to such information or showing signs of SCP-1128 contamination. A written description of the entity's appearance is to be kept at sight for experimental purposes only and is not to be read to anyone other than D-Class used for testing. If exposed, staff are to report immediately for administration of Class C amnesiacs. Mobile Containment Force Kappa-12 have been assigned to intercept and redirect any and all water traffic that passes through their designated patrol area by any means necessary. See Addendum 1128-2 Description SCP-1128 is an entity that manifests as a massive, aquatic predator. To anyone given a full description of the being's appearance through either spoken or written descriptions or visual depictions of the being, persons affected by SCP-1128 will initially exhibit no abnormal behavior, though some cases show a general aversion to activities involving bodily immersion in water such as bathing or swimming. Should subject ever be fully immersed in water, they will disappear completely under the surface of the water, regardless of the water's actual depth. In most cases, subject will reappear a moment later in a panicked state and frantically trying to leave the water, while in some other cases the water will become polluted with blood and debris confirmed to be the remains of the subject. Subjects that have reappeared intact claim that they were transported to a vast ocean where they are pursued by SCP-1128. Interviews with these individuals carry some risk of further SCP-1128 contamination, as descriptions of the being's appearance trigger further infections. SCP-1128 infection can be treated with Class C amnesiacs, as it appears memory of the entity or descriptions of it are required for its anomalous properties to take effect. Addendum 1128-1 Testing with infected D-Class have shown that wireless communication devices function normally when used by submerged subjects affected by SCP-1128. See Interview 1128-1 for details. Addendum 1128-2 Tracking devices affixed to D-Class using SCP-1128 experiments reveal that submerged subjects are transported to an area within the ocean, not far from the coast of Further investigation of these coordinates reveal the area to be Mobile Containment Force Kappa-12, the Sea Devils, have been assigned to keep unauthorized seafaring vessels out of this area at all costs. Note, that's where we've been sending those D-Class? How does a short-range device communicator get such a clear signal from that far away? Doctor Addendum 1128-3 Tests involving D-1732, who have been used for repeated SCP-1128 testing without administration of amnesiacs, was shown to be able to encounter the entity in bodies of water normally insufficient for bodily immersion. This effect became more drastic over time, with D-1732 developing progressively stronger hydrophobic tendencies, claiming to see SCP-1128 from outside almost any body of water encountered by the subject. On Days after initial exposure, D-1732 was violently pulled into a glass of water by No remains were recovered from the incident. Staff witnessing the event were found to be infected by SCP-1128 and administered Class C amnesiacs. Containment procedures were then updated to include videos and descriptions of this event, and testing involving extended infection of D-Class was terminated. Experiment Log 1128 Experiment Log 1128-A-1 Date Procedure D-Class exposed to SCP-1128 outfitted with diving gear and communication device, then lowered into tub of water. Result See Interview 1128- The following is Interview 1128- Interviewed Interviewer Forward was instructed to read from a small pamphlet describing SCP-1128's appearance, then was outfitted with diving gear and lowered into a large tub of water via winch and cable. His gear was outfitted to, with a wireless communication device to allow contact between himself and Dr. and to test if the SCP had any effect on such devices. 
Interview has been edited to remove hazardous information pertaining to SCP-1128. Begin the log. Can you hear me? Over. I hear you, Doc. Damn, this thing is deep. It looks so tiny from the outside. How well is your reception? Over. Good enough, I guess. Kind of fuzzy, but not enough that I can hear what you're saying. What is your current status? Right now, I'm just sinking to the bottom of… is this the ocean? How the hell did you manage to fit an entire ocean inside a stinking bathtub? Irrelevant. D. What are your surroundings? I just said ocean, damn it. There's fish and everything. Don't you guys know what the hell's inside your own… oof. D. What happened? I'm fine, I'm fine. I just hit bottom. Looks like I've landed in a patch of seaweed or something. What are your surroundings? Seaweed, mostly. Wait a second. It gets thinner to my right. Looks like there might be a drop-off that way. Should I go take a look? You may proceed. Okay. Grunts audibly. Damn suit's heavy. It's hard to move in this thing. Hey, is this thing soundproof? I hope my talking isn't scaring off my… Oh. My. God. D. D. Respond. What's your status? Panting audibly. I'm okay, I'm okay. I don't think it saw me. Damn, I think I pissed myself. What happened? What did you see? Scariest damn thing I've ever seen. Some kind of big ass… Description's been redacted. Wait a second. That's a thing from that stupid booklet you gave me, isn't it? Affirmative. Please refrain from describing it any further. What is it doing? Nothing right now. It's just swimming along. I think it's got something in its mouth. Is that a whale? Holy crap, it is. It's eating a whale. Oh god, look at those teeth. I think we're done here. Pull him out now. Thank you for your cooperation. We're bringing you up now. And now he swallowed it. Damn, that's gonna haunt my dreams. Wait. It stopped moving. I think it sees me. Oh god, it's looking right at me. It's headed his way. Oh god, help me. Get him out of there now. Hysterical spouting gibberish when feed cuts the static. End log. Closing statement. Winch was retracting at full speed when the cable went tout, resting the wrench from its mounting. Cable then went slack and water became polluted with blood, but confirmed to be that of D. No further remains or equipment were recovered. Interview log and relevant documents were edited for vectors and all staff present were treated with Class C amnesiacs. Experiment Log 1128-A-2 Date Procedure D-Class exposed to SCP-1128 and equipped with scuba gear placed into a standard protective shark cage and lowered into the water. Result: No response for approximately seconds, then line went tout and was severed at a point beneath the water. Remains of D-Class as well as jagged steel fragments, presumably remnants of the cage, surfaced shortly afterwards. Experiment Log 1128-A-3 Date Procedure. Same as above. Cage treated with SCP to increase durability. Result. Same as above. No remains surface. Notes. Hours later, MFC Sea Devils reported finding an intact shark cage floating beneath the surface of a patrol area near one of their vessels. Item was retrieved and confirmed to match the description of cage using Experiment 1128-A-3. Cage was undamaged but bore traces of human DNA and feces of indeterminate origin. No further remains of D-Class found. Experiment Log 1128-A-4 Date Procedure Exposed D-Class equipped with diving gear and armed with for use against hostile organisms. Unlike previous tests, subject was also equipped with a live feed video camera attached to its helmet. Result Video feed shows weapon was ineffective against SCP-1128, appearing only to enrage the creature rather than harm it considerably or drive it away. Feed was lost when D-Class was devoured. Staff involved treated with amnesiacs following transcription of video feed. Experiment Log 1128-A-5 Date Procedure Exposed D-Class equipped with protective environmental suit and video feed lowered into a vat of The test SCP-1128 manifestation of liquids other than water. Substance chosen for its low density allowing free movement similar to walking in open air. Result: D-Class recovered without incident. Liquid did not trigger SCP-1128's effect. Note: Okay, so you might be safe from the thing in liquids other than water, but 
that probably won't help you much unless you intend to drink and bathe in exotic chemicals for the rest of your life, which probably would get a lot shorter if you tried that. Doctor.